Well, hello people and welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a different spin on things. That's right. We're not going to be rushing in and dying and doing a whole bunch of stuff in primal fear. Now, I think this is much, much more important and we need to talk about it. We need to have what I like to call a face to face. That's right. I need to talk to you, everybody in the community that will actually click on this video and watch it. So this is the message, all right? And one of the most important things that I can get across is belief. That is the most powerful tool at our disposal right now. Belief is the foundation and it shapes our thoughts, which determines the actions that lead us to the final outcome, okay? In fact, belief is so powerful that it also influences the thoughts and behaviors of the people around us. It's crazy, people. It's crazy. So, the power of belief, okay? How we believe, that matters. That matters a big, big, big bunch, okay? So, how we believe matters. Keep in mind that it shapes our worlds, okay? If you believe in something enough, it will change your world, okay? These are just facts. And focusing on the positives, all right? Now, I am not going to be here feeding you guys full of negativity today because that's not what Tibbles is about. I am a positive person. I look at the positives in life and I gauge my success on the positives, not the negatives. And it's all about that belief system in which you, yourself, can change your world around you. That's right. So, the power of belief and how we see things. Keep in mind that uh, I just came from packing up the rest of my PVE base. Now, this has been an emotional part for me because... Yeah, I mean, that's eight years of friendships, eight years of peopling, getting to know people, understanding them. Yeah, I mean, it's all changing. The PVE aspect of uh, survival evolved. It's gone. It's gone. It's going to be gone at the end of the month. All my friends, they've walked away from their bases. They have no need for them anymore. It's just an unfortunate fact, but a lot of people are taking this time to spend with family friends explore other games do different things yeah and i support that because this is the time to do it we've got the time before asa get your ducks in order and we'll go from there so the other thing is that um i came from a community driven around pve all right eight years that's a long time in the comments down below people how long have you played and what impact has Zark had in your life that's what I want to know what impact has Zark had in your life that's right so throw it in the comments down below let me know what you guys are thinking let me know if I'm off base let me know if I'm right I'd be curious on your opinions toss them down in the comments I will be very appreciative of any intake we I can find okay so people I got five questions that I want to pose to you to have you think about answering over the next week you don't have to answer them now if you want toss them down in the comments if you're certain of your answer and you're good with it but do you you love this game called Ark I can answer that yeah I love Ark, absolutely. And has it been part of your life? And if so, for how many years? Put that in the comments down below. Have you enjoyed those years? Has it been fun? Have you felt fulfilled? Have you gotten done with a day of playing and said that was just the best time I've had? You know, have you had those moments? Why do you play Ark? That's the other question. Is it for the people? Is it for the gameplay? 
Is it for the communities? Is it for all of the above? That's why I play ARK. For everything that's involved with it. That's right. It's huge. It's big. And it's made a huge impact in my life. I mean, look at what I'm doing right now. I'm talking to you guys about ARK on YouTube. It's crazy. But hey, this gives me the opportunity to hopefully impact your life in a positive way. And if I have, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Let me know I'm doing something okay. All right, people. Let's get you out of here and into your next video. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I definitely want you to believe in something. Okay? The belief system is there. We just need to implement it. We believe in Wildcard. We believe in the game that they have put out to us, for us, and with us. So it's huge. Let's take a time and think about our belief systems. If we believe enough and in the right things, positive outcomes will happen. And these are facts. All right, people, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.